What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, bringing you the very next base building video. And like you guys probably already saw in the thumbnail, the base you're looking at right here took five defenses in a recent war that we had against Reddit Omega. And I want to give a big shout out to Lobs over in Reddit Omega for allowing me to use this base and show it. And we'll be showing all five replays of the defenses from that war. So big shout out to all the guys and girls over in Reddit Omega. They are definitely the real deal. So this obviously wasn't my base. Uh, I did not design this base. Uh, I wish I could design a base this good, uh, but I'm going to break down real quick before we get into the replays what makes a base layout like this so difficult. Uh, as you can see, the base is pretty much symmetrical for the most part. Uh, we'll go ahead and start off. Where should we even start off on? We'll go ahead and pull this up. Um, so the first thing at Tower 9 that you have to understand is if you get one defense, you've pretty much done your job. Like I said, this base received five, and the first thing at Town Hall 9 that you usually need to do, or, or, or a key objective, um, is not only getting a kill squad in, but taking care of key objectives on your way in. Uh, you have to be able to set a funnel in order to get uh, any sort of value from a kill squad. So having said that, the reason why this base is so difficult for a kill squad and why we didn't even hit it with air is because of that. Uh, it's so hard in order to funnel it in. If you go ahead and look at the traps on this base, um, well actually first off, we're gonna go ahead, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and put this on scout mode. Um, so the very, very first thing that you're gonna notice uh, what am I trying to do here? We're gonna put this um, on photo mode. There we go. So the first thing you're gonna look at on a base like this um, is you'd probably want to enter in at one of the corners. You know whether that's from over here or whether that's from over here. Um, and the reason why it would not work, like you guys already saw, is the Tesla. So if you go ahead and drop, if you went ahead and drop the golem here and you went ahead and dropped a golem here, in order to funnel in, not only would it be a tough wall break, but look at all of the high HP storages that you would have to take down. And not, not to mention, once this mortar goes down right here, uh, this golem is gonna go over here to the Tesla, and you still have to get through uh, the town hall. You still have to get through this gold storage. Not to mention, you still have uh, you still have this wall junction right here that your troops are going to split on. Uh, so definitely not ideal. Um, if you go ahead and, and try to get a kill squad in from the long side, uh, again you'd send a golem here. Uh, you maybe you'd send a baby dragon uh, to get rid of this stuff. You'd send a golem over here. And again, your golems are going to head inside because of the two Teslas. And you're going to be dealing with the splash damage from both of these wizard towers, uh, you know, down here at the bottom, uh, getting rid of things uh, like wizards and things like that. And then you, uh, yet again, you still have all this trash to get through. And uh, you also have, um, what am I trying to do here? You also have, uh, you also have this wall junction that you have to get through as well. Uh, so like I said, very, very difficult uh, to get something like a kill squad in on either side of this base, not to mention getting any sort of value. You'd also um, be dealing with this king once you get this cannon down, and it has a very good distribution between uh, low HP buildings and high HP buildings, um, also making it very difficult to funnel into. Okay, real quick, what we're gonna do is go ahead and take this base off of scout mode so you guys can get an idea of what all the traps look like. So we've already determined it's very difficult to get a kill squad and not to mention once the stuff inside here goes down, um, all your troops are gonna split this way because they can't see anything. Uh, your troops will not be able to see this expo unless you dropped a jump or did something like a quake. Uh, you would not be able to break into that compartment yet again also making it very very difficult um as far as the lalo like you're gonna see in the replays we do have a few lalos uh so we hear lalos that tried to take this base down 
Another reason that makes it very difficult is the uh, the air sweeper locations. As you guys see right here, uh, what, are we, what are we trying to do here? Um, as you see, the air sweeper locations pretty much covering the entire bottom side of the base from that one and the entire top side of, top side of the base on this one. It also helps prevent against any sort of dragon attack because if you sent in dragons from this side, uh, you do have a, a, a couple high HP buildings blocking this air sweeper. And then same thing if you try to hit this base from this side, uh, using dragons funneling in. Um, again, you have an expo, or you have an expo and the clan castle guarding their air sweeper as we're going to be seeing in the replays. You're pretty much fighting a sweeper the entire raid, no matter which side of the base you hit this on. It also makes it very difficult uh, and really highlights something a lot of people look past at Town Hall 9, which is the trash. Um, you can see uh, how far the trash goes outside this base. So if you're going to be doing something like a Lalo, you pretty much have to, uh, when you're going to be dropping down your hounds, you know, to go, you know, to go to these air defenses, um, your loons have to start hitting this base pretty, whoops, you have to be hitting this base pretty far back. Um, and what that does in doing so is you have to end up dropping your haste over trash as opposed to dropping your haste over the defenses. Uh, haste are always better. The further you can get those haste inside the base uh, to keep those loons moving and pathing quickly uh, from defense to defense. But because of how this trash is laid out, um, definitely lessens the value, lessens, lessers, uh, the value <laughs> of a heap. Uh, so again, the way you lay out trash is also very crucial uh, in how you're hitting bases. You also can see there are two uh, seeking air mines on each set of air defenses. Uh, we did not hit this base with ground, so I more or less had to guess the spring traps. Uh, as you can see, they are uh, stacked in between each defenses. Uh, kind of staggered in this compartment. Uh, you probably would be sending hogs right into this compartment. I highly doubt there are any springs inside there, especially uh, you'd be dealing with the queen, which is another thing I want to talk about before we get into the replays. A centralized queen. Again, when you're doing something like a kill squad, and the reason why we didn't hit this base with ground is when you're using, when you're using a kill squad, you have got to take the enemy queen out. Because it's a centralized queen, and it's so difficult to set a funnel, it'd be very difficult to get her with something like a kill squad. Uh, now, what you say is, okay, well you just go ahead and skelly the queen. As you're gonna, again, as you're gonna see in the replays, very quickly, uh, we're almost there. Um, this king is also in range, so when you go ahead and drop those skellies, uh, down, say the queen's down on this side, if you drop those skellies, uh, you'll also be dealing with the queen uh, beating through. Uh, not to mention that you're having those expos also wiping out those skeleton spells, making the queen kill difficult. Uh, outside of range of the king, if the queen went ahead and hopped over these walls and you tried to drop the skellies on her, now you're dealing with a bomb tower, uh, also helping destroy those skellies, making the queen kill that much more difficult. Uh, but that's pretty much the base layout, a very, very tricky, uh, very, very uh, strong base. Huge shout out to Lobes again for letting me use this. Uh, this was from our Reddit Omega War. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and check out the five defenses this base took. Right, guys, so this is going to be the very first attack on the space. These will be in chronological order so you guys can see the development of the attacks uh, throughout the war. Uh, I do have the names, uh, as you guys see, I do have the names uh, blurred out. These guys would kill me if I showed um, all the people who failed on this base. Uh, so we'll go ahead, we'll go ahead and leave that uh, discreet. Uh, but what we see here on the very first attack is a tri zap quake. Uh, to go ahead and grab the two air defenses and the cannons like we have seen this is a very very strong attack on the right base layouts especially bases similar to this uh, where you bring the dragons in on the short hot uh, the short side zap quaking the two ADs and obviously using the heroes on the other side 
um, or down the side, not only to funnel, but to take out other defenses. Again, this is the very first hit, so we had no idea where any of the traps were or anything like that. Uh, and as you guys see, there is a hound in this uh, enemy clan castle. So, uh, not sure why he went ahead and did this, but instead of bringing a rage, he went ahead and brought three haste. Don't know if that was an accident or if he wanted to uh, haste the dragons, but you can definitely see the, uh, he's already kind of in trouble, especially uh, with this air sweeper. Like I said, to start the video out, this air sweeper, uh, these air sweepers in the positions that they are do absolute work. Uh, you'll see he does still have a wizard tower up, an expo, uh, fighting that sweeper. We have a Tesla still up. Uh, we'll go ahead and time this again. Don't want the video to get too long. And you'll see the dragons are going to be beating on the clan castle. That was one thing I didn't show you guys was the clan castle range. Obviously, it is unlurable. Uh, you know, just using a hog or a giant, you cannot lure this Almost, enemy. Uh, reveal uh, who did the very first fail. Uh, but yeah, we were talking. About, <laughs> we were talking about the CC. Uh, yeah, so it obviously is uh, not lureable, as you guys can see. The Tesla's clearly in range over on this side. Uh, so next up, this is going to be the second hit. Trying to clean up, like I said, that first attack, we did see the three haste, uh, as opposed to the one haste and a rage. Um, so that's what this guy's going to be doing. He's going to be bringing a rage. Uh, and instead of, again, trying to bring a few more balloons, squeeze in an extra dragon, uh, instead of using... Instead of using a baby dragon, just went ahead and did quite a bit of funneling. Did some work uh, with the minions and with the wizard over here. Again, trying to set a decent funnel uh, to make sure that these dragons do not come in the base. All sorts of crazy. You'll see Queen is over here at 9 o'clock. Uh, and she's going to get decent value. as She's going to be pathing up. Uh, and she will be able to uh, take out um, a pair of these Teslas. And you'll see a King down here. Uh, where he was able to take out King. Again, not getting a whole lot of value. Uh, he was not even able to take out a Tesla because of where the uh, where the King pops out. That's another thing, is the heroes are kind of split on this base. Very difficult to take out both of them with something like a kill squad. Okay, so now we have the drags entering on the other side of the base. Uh, went ahead and funneled, obviously, on the uh, upper left and the bottom of the base. That's where the funnels were set. Dragons all clearly going in and right out of the gate uh, You have the sweeper gonna be blowing these dragons back uh, And also notice that both of these sweepers depending what side you're attacking the space on there is a high HP building in front of them uh, That being the expo it's very very interesting and the clan castle over on the other side uh, And you already see that the dragons are already kind of splitting up um Again, because of the Tesla's over here, so dragons are already wandering. Not ideal, you need dragons to stay inside the base. Uh, and you'll see over here, we did do that Lalo over here at three o'clock. Uh, clearly was not able to get all of those loons in. This is obviously going to end in a fail. There is way too much up uh, for these troops to handle. Uh, before we go ahead and let the attack die out like we did on the last one, we'll go ahead and jump in to the third attack on this base. All right, guys, so we have determined now that dragons will not take this base down, at, at least using the tri-zap quake method. Uh, and that's ideally what you want to do as a Town Hall 9. Uh, have someone burn a couple attacks using the same strategy, trying to clean it up, and now making the attacker switch up the attack, uh, which is exactly what's going to be happening here. Uh, now we're going to be trying a Sui Hero Lalo, bringing two rage, Five haste, and like I said in the beginning of the video, you need a skeleton spell in order to take out this queen if you're going to be doing something like a Sui Hero Lalo. Uh, so, Queen is going to go ahead and take out one Tesla. She's going to go ahead and get the Wizard Tower. So, decent value, uh, decent value from the Queen. Uh, King just taking out some trash. Uh, he pretty much did uh, his job. Look, Queen even got the mortar. So, pretty much cleared that side for an open Lalo. Um, starting over here on the far or the upper left hand side bring in one camp hound there goes one Sam uh, taking a huge chunk of health out of that lava hound uh, hastening these balloons and like I said you have to drop these haste pretty much over trash as opposed to over the defenses uh, because of how the trash in the base is laid out uh, you'll see he's trickling in some more loons some more loons trying to meet up with this max lava hound over here at three o'clock, hasting those in. 
rage spell down in the core, skele uh, skeleton spell down. Uh, also notice um, that the king is distracting the skeletons as well from that skelly spell. So clearly the queen did not go down. So yet again, making it very difficult uh, to skelly the queen because the king will step up. Uh, and you'll see right here, it got kind of close, but still had a ton up. Um, not to mention the queen. We got the expo, the wizard tower, the archer tower. Uh, so clearly this is going to end in a fail. Uh, just have, you know, pups and uh, a few minions left up. So that was the third defense so far um, for lobs. Now we'll go ahead and check out the fourth attack on this base. All right, guys, now we're going to be doing another uh, Sui Hero Lalo. Um, this time bringing three camp hounds, only 20 loons. Uh, and again, just switching it up, trying to figure out uh, the weakness to this base. Notice there has not been a single ground attack. Again, like I said to start off the video, very, very difficult to funnel into a base like this. Not only funnel, uh, but get to, uh, to get decent value. Uh, so we did see the Sui Hero kind of over here on the long side in the last attack. This is going to be a Sui Hero over here at 3 o'clock where we're going to be trying to take out an air defense with the Queen. She's definitely going to get that AD down. Uh, and King did a good job clearing that trash. Uh, you'll see Queen is also going to go ahead and take out that Archer Tower, but she goes ahead and sees the Mortar and routes down. Ideally, uh, he would have wanted Queen to walk up to get as many air targeting defenses as possible. Uh, she's going to go ahead and beat on this wall. And notice we do have, instead of one Skeleton spell like in the last attack, we have two Skelly spells. Loons do directly target uh, that air defense goes ahead and drops down a rage uh, and the skelly spells as uh, he did notice the queen jumped over the wall uh, but no loons up here at the top so he's going to get a really really nasty split and notice again uh, with these air sweepers pretty much blowing uh, back these loons throughout the raid uh, trying to send his main group in down here at the bottom now where he does still have a rage and a heal goes ahead and drops down a haste spell but those loons took a bunch of damage uh, from those wizard towers and the uh, and the red bombs and you'll see the pathing to this base again very very difficult uh, you'll see the loons just gonna kind of go around in a circle uh, Tesla's are locked on uh, to one of the hounds goes ahead and drops down a heal spell and that's not so much that's definitely not you know for the hound that is clearly uh, for the balloons um, but again, end up hitting that hound to, but unfortunately the hound does not pop um, and ends up, <laughs> ends up healing the hound. Uh, and again, with all of these um, balloons clumped up and not a whole bunch of cleanup, had to invest quite a bit uh, in the funnel. Uh, these minions are not going to get it done. As you guys see, we only have 33 seconds left in the attack. This is going to end, however, in a 98%, but a fail nevertheless. Now we'll go ahead and check out the fifth defense on this base from this war. All right, guys, this is going to be the fifth and final replay, the fifth and final defense uh, from Lobs. Um, and again, definitely trying to clean up the previous attack uh, as we did see that it was that it did end in a 98%, so so close. Um, but again, as if you guys haven't got the idea, very very difficult base, and in order, in order to take it down, you definitely have to not only have brilliant uh, execution, uh, you definitely you definitely at the end of the day, uh, you have to know what you're doing in order to take out a base like this. Uh, and, and it's so funny because a lot of people say how easy Town 9 is, how Town 9 is ripped, yet we're still seeing uh, bases getting 3, 4, and in the rare occasion, 5 defenses of war. Still has a pretty decent balance, um, in my humble opinion. So you'll see the heroes pretty much went the exact same way. Uh, you'll do see uh, that the queen is going to go ahead and die. He did not pop the ability because he didn't want uh, that hound to pop. Uh, you'll see right here, again, starting off exactly the same, that hound eating it so fast on those two seeking air mines. Loons do directly target that air defense, dropping down one skeleton spell, uh, since we do know that that queen does hop over the wall. 
Uh, and again, starting both hounds to sweep across the base uh, from uh, from right to left. Forgot uh, what the sides were. Uh, from right to left, and you still see a nasty split between those Teslas. Uh, you'll see this hay spell, but again, because there's no hound tanking those wizard towers, those balloons lose a lot of health, bringing in another clump over here on this archer tower, followed up by another haste, uh, but with only one loon left, and again, with these two Teslas, you're going to see it's very, very difficult unless you work very, very fast, a late heal spell. Uh, this is obviously going to end in a fail, uh, swagging a rage. Like I said, you have to work fast. Uh, the Expo's up, uh, Loon's pretty much getting pushed back by those sweepers, and even the Queen uh, was not taken down by that one skeleton spell. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like I said, we've been showing a lot of love post-update to Town Hall 10, um, and now we want to give that much, uh, that much love to Town Hall 9. Um, and I want to give a huge shout out to Lobs and all the guys and girls over in Reddit Omega. It was an awesome, awesome war. Uh, the final... 115 to 111 huge shout out to them and as you guys see not only do they have difficult town hall 9 bases but they also had very difficult town hall 10 bases hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did uh, make sure you like comment and subscribe to the channel if you have not already as always this is Riggs from clashing ffs and i'll see you in the very next video